Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we are going to talk about Laravel security features and as a developer, how we can improve the security of our Laravel application. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about built-in security features in Laravel. So first one is CSRF protection, uh, XSS protection, uh, there are secured cookies, uh, SQL injection protection, hashed password and mass assignment protection. So let's talk about each of them. So let's talk about CSRF attack. So it is kind of uh, attack uh, when someone try to access your application through AJAX request from their application. So they might want to uh, access some data from different side. So how Laravel protect us from that is it will uh, it will look for this CSRF field csrf field in form and only allow the form with this field uh, to make the request to our application all right so this field is unique which uses app key in our dot env file to compare so in that way laravel protects us so if there is mismatch uh, nothing will proceed and you'll get uh, some expired session expired or something like so another is xss attack so it is uh, execution of malicious js script um, which user entered in the comment box uh, in text area or input field like if someone enters some script like so this is just example script uh, alert or something on comment box so it will get executed on every page refresh so this js code will be executed if there is no xss protection so what we can do is always skip the content by using double curly braces instead of this syntax so out of the box we got this kind of protection so we don't have to worry about that which is cool feature so another is sql injection so uh, this is uh, like same as xss but it is it happens on sql queries so some injection of some malicious sql queries from form input for example if we have form where user have to input uh, his email address or something like that so if instead of entering admin at the rate example which is real email address uh, the potential hacker also will uh, insert something like this email address with colon and then uh, drop table user so what uh, what happens in our code if we have no sql protection against sql injection is it it will execute the whole string like so it will uh, drop the user's table right so uh, that is another um, the security issues so by default uh, La laravel eloquent protects us from sql injection whereas the raw SQL queries that we use in our uh, that uh, that uh, that option is available in Laravel. So instead of using the raw SQL queries, we should use Eloquent. So we have option of using the raw call, uh, queries using DB facade. So uh, if we want to use that, we have to make a prepared SQL queries and then inject it. So instead of that, you can directly use Eloquent. This has another other um, uh, optimized queries it automatically optimize for performance it caches and you can use other packages to cache all eloquent queries so it is really cool to use eloquent instead of db facade so another feature is uh, secured cookies so laravel uses app key to encrypt all the cookies including session cookies before sending it to the user's browser okay so after after it is encrypted and if someone uh, after login if someone want to access some site information laravel uh, decrypt that cookie uh, session cookies or any other cookie using the app key and then identifies whether it is a valid cookie or not so this will prevent uh, the client from making any changes to their cookies and grant themselves admin or any super admin privileges so yeah that is a really cool feature so that's why you always have this app key, unique app key. So whenever you clone the repository from GitHub or any other platform, you always generate uh, app key using PSP artisan key generate command. So yeah, that should be unique. If you feel that your app key has been compromised, you can generate new key. 
so that is another security improvement that you can do on your end so another uh, improvement that you can uh, make or add another uh, layer of security in your application by using UUID instead of integer as your primary table key so UUID stands for univers universally unique identifier something like this string random string so in your migration file instead of using integer you can use UUID that Laravel provides by default this method UUID and to generate UUID you can use this helper method string UUID all right so let me show you in code so suppose uh, let's go to user migration so here by default we got increment id which is integer field you can instead use uh, this table uid like so and then while generating it you can generate using this command so there is a cool article about explaining that you can you can refer to this article if you want to implement it is quite easy just uh, just prepare migration by replacing their increment with this and then create the uid while creating in boot method like so this is quite simple you can uh, extract everything to a um, trait like so and then use this trait on any model that you want to have UID so quite simple so another uh, is there is a package which helps us to do exactly that but you can uh, you can have you can directly use default features built-in features or you can use package so another step you can do is set up authorization system using gate policies or any other third-party packages like special Laravel permission so which will help us to limit the access to certain area of our website using permission so that will be quite useful for securing your application so these are some steps you can use or implement in your application so to conclude use eloquent URM instead of raw SQL queries so consider using UID as primary key set up authorization system so avoid too much third-party packages that are not tested or trusted so that might have some security issues which will affect your application so as far as possible use built-in feature or first-party packages for your api authentication like uh, uh, laravel password or built-in built authorization system so that is quite secure so always generate new app key when you clone or you can generate new key if you think that your app key has been shared or something like that so these are some uh, thing some tips regarding the security in your laravel application so hope you like this video so if you find it helpful please like and subscribe and if you have any other tips that you want to share i would uh, like to know them so please share them on comment section and I will see you in, on the next video. Bye.